Hard to believe, but the exciting triple crown of horse racing is about to kick off again. You know, the Kentucky Derby is the longest running sporting event in the United States dating back to 1875. And when we think of the Derby, what comes to mind? But of course, horses, hats, roses, mint juleps made with bourbon, the official spirit of the Derby, of course. Joining me now to talk much more about this are Kentucky natives and Woodford Reserve distillers, Elizabeth McCall and Chris Morris, to talk more about the traditions surrounding the Kentucky Derby. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Thank you for having us. It's great to have you here. Look, we're, we're talking to you from Baltimore, guys. This is Preakness country, but way before we bring the, the horses here, we have the Derby. Talk about why it is such a special event. Well, it is a special event because, you, as you noted, it's history. 144 runnings this year, and it links us back to our roots. When Kentucky was settled, our ancestors brought horses and stills with them. So from the very beginning, we were making whiskey and racing horses. We see julep cups 200 years ago being awarded as trophies to horse racing champions. It's, it's very interesting. Look, there's a rich, steeped history, not just with the race, but with the bourbon we associate with it. I mean, I mean, how did bourbon become so closely knit with the Kentucky Derby? Well, it was that very fact that these early horse farms and therefore great breeders and eventually horse owners were making their own whiskey and it was something to brag about and of course here in kentucky they're making bourbon and nothing else so from the very beginning it was kentucky bourbon as a drink of choice certainly here at churchill downs in fact the mint julep becomes the official drink of churchill downs back in the 1930s <sighs> all right let's talk about it the signature drink mint juleps we know they're associated with the race and elizabeth we know there's a thousand dollar mint julep cup coming up. Uh, give us a little bit more on this. Yes, so we celebrate our bourbon connection um, with the $1,000 mint julep cup program. And so every year the recipe's a little different and the cup's a little different. So this year, Chris Morris and I sat down and we actually came up with this year's recipe to wanted to celebrate the best of Kentucky on Kentucky's best day. So we have sourced all ingredients from Woodford County, which is where our water beautiful distillery is located and um, we started out this year's recipe we're gonna just rub mint in the cup um, so we're not doing anything super fancy with it we're just gonna rub it inside the cup and let the oils be expressed in there beautiful aroma comes Man, out it's just then we've got our two ounces of Woodford Reserve because of course we're celebrating the best two minutes in horse racing with the best two ounces of bourbon we're gonna pour that right into the cup then we have sorghum simple syrup, which is again sourced from Woodford County, has great vanilla notes to it and some dried dark fruit. It's just a great complement to Woodford Reserve. Next, we're going to have limestone water ice, so crushed ice, um, which is going to help give us um, add to the flavors. And then also, you want to use crushed ice because it helps get the drink really, really cold. Um, so we're going to swirl this around. You can see the nice frost grow going on the glass. Then I'm gonna add a little more ice and then we'll put our garnish in. So we have a beautiful sipping straw that Chris Morris has and it's a gold plated sipping straw. Next we have some mint and then three spray roses. You, you mentioned the Preakness, the triple crown there. Yeah. So we've got three roses for the three races. And then of course I gotta get all my ice in there, beautifully tucked in. Last but not least, we have a rose petal from the actual garland of roses that will be draped over the Derby winner's shoulders. We're gonna drape each drink with one of those rose petals. And for $1,000, you get to contribute to a wonderful charity. And this year's charity from our program is the Jennifer Lawrence Art Fund. Ah, well, we love that supporting charity, charity with a great drink. The mint julep looks fantastic. Uh, 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 Elizabeth and you, sir, thank you so much for being with us today. And we'll be drinking our Black Eyed Susans here for Preakness coming up as well. And we'll be back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.